right. All right, so this is another application of um, uh, solving quadratic equations using factoring, but we have to build the quadratic equation. It's an application problem. So um, what does it say? It says a rectangle's base is six inches longer than four times its height. The area of a rectangle is 28 inches squared. Find the rectangle's dimensions. Okay, so I always like to draw a little picture. We've got a rectangle. We've got some information about its um, length and height. Uh, this is not at all to scale. I know that its total area is 28 inches squared. And so let's read this again. A rectangle's base is six inches longer than four times its height. Okay, so we're given some information about the base in terms of the height, right? So if we say that the base is six inches longer than four times the height, so I'm going to let the height be h, right? Let h be the height. Now the base is um, six inches longer than four times its height. So if we say 4h, that's four times the height, right? and it's six inches longer than that. So the area of a rectangle is length times width, but in this case we'll use the language of this problem, uh, base times the height, right, uh, is what we're talking about there. Now, um, we know that the total area is 28 inches squared, and we know that if we multiply the, the length times the width or the base times the height, we'll get that 28 inches squared. So I'm going to multiply h times the quantity 4h plus 6 and set that equal to 28. Okay, now can we solve that for h? Well, let's try. We're going to have 4h squared plus 6h equal to 28. Okay. Now, I want to get 28 over on the left-hand side, set it equal to 0. So 4h squared plus 6h minus 28 is equal to 28 minus 28. Okay, so with 4h squared plus 6h minus 28 equal to 0, let's see if we can factor this. So uh, look at the smallest number. 4 divides 28, but it doesn't divide 6. But 2 would divide everything, right? So I'm going to pull a 2 out. So I'll have 2 times the quantity 2h squared plus 3h minus 14 equal to 0. So with the 2h squared plus 3h minus 14, I'm going to have to do, use the, the AC method on that, right? Since I've got a 2 out in front of h squared. All right, so 2 times negative 14 is negative 28. And I need factors of negative 28 that add to 3. And in the times table, I'm thinking of uh, 4 times 7, and the difference of 4 and 7 is 3. So if I have negative 4 plus 7, that gives me positive 3. So I'm going to use those uh, numbers to rewrite the middle term. 2h squared minus 4h plus 7h minus 14, all equal to 0 over here. OK, so now uh, do the factor by grouping. Grouping. All right. So I've got 2 times. Um, we're going to, the, from the first group, 2h squared minus 4h, I can pull out 2h. And what's left? h minus 2, right? And in the second grouping, uh, 7h minus 14, I can pull out 7. And I'll be left with h minus 2. Again, don't lose that equal to 0. All right, now uh, I, h minus 2 is common to both, so I can pull that out. And what's left over? 2h plus 7. Okay, since I'm out of room, I'm going to go up here. Um, I've got a product now equal to 0. 2 can't be equal to 0, but h minus 2 could be, right? Or 
2h plus 7 could be 0. Okay, so now um, add 2 to both sides. And we're left with h is equal to 2, right? And then over here with 2h plus 7, we have to subtract 7 from both sides. Oops, plus 7 minus 7 equal to 0 minus 7. So we have 2h equal to negative 7. Divide both sides by 2. h is equal to negative 7 halves. Now, can the dimensions of a rectangle be negative? Now, I'm going to go with h is equal to 2, right? So if h is equal to 2, to what? What are the, what are the units? So it looks like we're in inches, right? The, the area is in inches squared. And uh, so h is 2 inches, right? And if h is 2 inches, um, what is the base? So we've got uh, 4h plus 6, right? So if h is 2, we have 4 times 2 plus 6. 8 and 6 is 14, okay? So the rectangle's base is 14 inches long. Okay, so this may happen when you're solving a quadratic in an application setting where you get a solution that doesn't, um, doesn't apply. Uh, it doesn't mean it doesn't, it's not a solution to the equation, but it's not going to be a useful solution in terms of answering the question that's being asked. So in this case, we have a rectangle, so the dimensions are going to be positive. All right, so with any kind of application and story problem, uh, I really encourage you to read through the problem more than once if you need to. Make sure you understand it. Draw a picture if it's helpful. The goal uh, in these particular application problems is to uh, build an equation that's going to help you answer the question that's being asked.